Hey guys, it's Sebs here, once again with another unboxing video. It seems like all I do nowadays is unboxing videos. Um, but I enjoy them, and I think you guys enjoy them too. So yeah, let's just get straight into this one. So, here we have a pretty interesting roster of planes. We've got my first Aviation 400 model, which is going to be very exciting to see because I've heard good things about their A350 molds, and as you can see here there is an A350. Um, and then, at the top we have an NG Models 757. Now this is interesting because this is from 2018, I, I, I think. I'm pretty sure it's from 2018. So this will be interesting to see um, what these models are like. Uh, so I'm gonna start with the Eastern at the top from NG Models right here. So this is, this is an interesting box to be honest, because, I don't know, it's, it's different. It's just, hmm, the the material that they use for this box is different. Um, I can see there's no NG logo right there, like, um, at the bottom that they usually have. No NG logos anywhere to be found, actually, to be honest. So that's pretty interesting. But yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool to see what this model looks like. So let's just get straight into the unboxing section. Now, I believe that this plane, well, no, this... Yeah, it does. It has the styrofoam, like, padding that NG boxes usually have, and I love this, to be honest. Ooh, this is chrome, so I've got to be careful. Don't want to get any of my fingerprints on this. I'm just going to put it on top of here for a second. So, yeah. Um, hopefully, this turns out to be a good model. And here we are. <laughs> this beautiful 757 from NG Models. Now, I'm sorry about the lighting, guys, with this plane, since it's a chrome, obviously, you can see the reflective, um, just like the light reflecting off of the fuselage, but, you know, that's just what happens when you have a chrome livery. It doesn't bother me, to be honest, because I am in love with the chrome livery. It's such a good livery. Um, I love this on American, especially on American, because they have the best one. This Eastern is going to be probably one of my new favorite planes. Um... Hawaiian used to have a chrome livery, which was, some people think it's ugly, but I mean, that, I was one of those people, I used to hate, it was, I used to hate that livery. But, I've warmed up to it, I think it's really nice. Um, and yeah, I got this plane in Waffle Collectibles, which is a really good site to buy models, and I think this is still in stock. There's, there's two of these actually, one in this livery with the 757 logo on the tail, and then one in just a normal livery without the 757. I decided to go for this one, because I just thought that the Sim 57 on that tail just gave it, you know, just made the livery a bit more interesting. Um, and some of you might be asking, Sebs, why did you buy this plane? So I bought this because this used to go to Los Angeles, and I'm planning on doing a retro, like a retro style to my airport. Once my airport's up and running and just finished, I'll be posting some photos on Instagram like, Throwback Thursday or Flashback Friday of planes that used to fly to LA in the 80s and in the 90s as well. So this was a pretty common visitor to Los Angeles back in the 80s and I'm really excited to have this. So yeah, now we're going to go into detail with the cockpit. And so here we go, here's the cockpit area of this model. Now as you can see on the top you've got the really cool old Eastern titles on this plane, and next to the second door on this aircraft you can see the uh, United States of America flag, which is a cool little detail. Again, NG, nailing it with the 757 mold, just, it's, they, they have the best 757 mold. Um, I would say Gemini Jets come in a close second, because they have a really good 757 mold as well. Um, landing gear is superb. I can see some like little white spots on the on the on the on the wheel of the front landing gear. I don't know if that's realistic or just a mistake that NG models made. Um, nevertheless, still a great plane, still great detail on the landing gear. Um, you can see that just beautiful chrome and how all the light just reflects off the fuselage. Really, really nice. Um, as well, you got the windows. I think, I'm pretty sure, the first window is closed. As I said, again, I love that detail. And you've got the beautiful, just... 
like this is the default retro livery in my opinion just two lines going together down the whole fuselage in just two different colors and they're usually either two different sets of blue two different sets of orange or like purple or something like that i don't know that just to me that seems like all airlines once in their like life had that type of livery um and i love it i love that livery so yeah this <laughs> this is a great plane um the antenna as well that's a really good detail on this plane no wi-fi box on this plane because obviously you know they wouldn't have had that back then but yeah this is a great model so now i'm going to show you um the tail section of this aircraft and now this is the tail section of the aircraft you can see the registration um right above the windows as well right next to the last door on this plane um the beautiful 757 logo on the tail which is a really good touch on eastern's parts for this livery and okay i don't think i've explained this before but i don't know if you guys can see this but in ng's model like in ng models planes you can see the flaps and like just not flaps but like all of, like the tail rudder and just all the lines and the components of building the tail no other model company does this not that i know of maybe some companies would put just the tail rudder and you can just see like the the lines of that but on ng they put every little tiny detail of the lines on the tail and i, I love that it's stupendous um you can see the cargo door at the bottom over there as well as the landing gear which is also really good um no little white dots on this part which is good um you've got the back stabilizers of this plane which again great detail on those and yeah just the whole tail section of this aircraft looks amazing i'm really impressed ng really really impressed and there we go that was my review of this eastern um 757 now would i recommend this plane yes definitely if you're just a collector who loves collecting any planes you see definitely go for this if you can find it as i said again waffle collectibles will have this and probably ebay has it as well ebay usually has everything basically but yeah i do recommend this plane um if you don't need this well then i guess you don't need it so you, you shouldn't go you shouldn't go for it but i would say if you just if you're just a normal collector you definitely should go for uh, for this model because this is a spectacular aircraft and again great job by ng models they always impress me with their planes so yeah now i'm gonna review the aviation 400 qatar airways airbus a350 1000 and now we're on to the second model in this unboxing a qatar airways a350 1000 from aviation 400 now, I don't know that much about Aviation 400. All I know is that they have great A350 molds. I think they're considered the best A350 um, company. Let's see if that's true, because I'm actually really excited to see this plane. Uh, if you're asking why I got this, I bought this because the Qatar Airways A350 is now doing um, a new route to Los Angeles. So, this is now the new plane. I think they used to fly the 777-200 LR. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the LR, but yeah, um, now it's the A350-1000. I'm not sure if they'll be coming, like, if the 777 will come with the A350, but I've got both of them, so I'm pretty glad about that. And I, I know this is a really rare plane, so I'm, I'm really excited to see this. This is going to be a pretty interesting unboxing. Well, second part of the unboxing. Um, good box, by the way. I like, I like this, um, this style, because I know that aviation 400 released this one in the normal livery and the one in the one world livery personally i don't like the one world livery on the on qatar airways i just don't like how the whole fuselage is just painted in white and then the tails with that signature qatar color and the the, the engine as well i don't know I, I just don't like it so i bought the normal livery also i got this from waffle collectibles so yeah, but sadly it's it's gone out of stock. I think I actually caught the last one, so that's pretty lucky. This is usually complicated to take out. There we go. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the last one, which is a shame for any of you. 
Actually, no. Shout out to FlyMDM. Um, follow him on on Instagram and on YouTube. Whoa, this mod was sick. Jesus. But yeah, shout out to FlyMDM, who <laughs> needed this plane as well because his airport is um, located. It's like a combination of Florida, like Miami, and um, uh, Fort Lauderdale. But yeah, shout out to him because he needed this model, but sadly, <laughs> I caught the last one, so sorry bro, sorry. <laughs> but yeah, let's get let's get into the review of this plane. And here it is. Um, it might not be, it might not focus completely because this is a long plane. The A350-1000 is way longer than what I thought it was. Um, because yeah, this is my first A350-1000 plane, as in like a model. I only have uh, the 900 uh, variant, but this is this is amazing. The hype for Aviation 400's molds was uh, it's so deserved. This mold is absolutely amazing. I think the the thing I'm most impressed with is the cockpit because the cockpit is really hard to nail with the AP50. Um, no company does it perfectly, to be honest. Gemini Jets, they, they have a good AP50 mold sometimes, but I don't know, their cockpit just feels a bit too sloped down. Um, Phoenix, they have a pretty good AP50 cockpit, but their landing gear and sometimes the engines are facing down, and it just doesn't look that good. But Aviation 400, holy crap, this is good. Um, where do I start? Oh, oh my god, I just realized there's like a little... A little red light at the top. I don't know if I'll, I'll put an arrow so you guys can see that. But this kind of it, do, it doesn't light up. But if you look at it from different angles, it kind of does light up. Oh, that's a really cool detail. Yo, this is a really good plane. Um, I'm gonna start with the cockpit now. And here we are. Here's the cockpit of the Qatar A350-1000. Amazing. That's just that's what I'm gonna start with. The mold on this cockpit is amazing. It's just all the proportions are perfect. The cockpit, like the the actual cockpit windows, great. Um, the landing gear. I think the landing gear was the thing I was most um, worried about because I thought that Aviation 400 didn't have the best landing gear. But I am impressed. That's some good, really good landing gear. Um, again. As you can see, that little red dot. I don't think you can see it from this angle, but I'll just put another arrow so you guys can see it. Um, the massive Qatar, like the huge just Qatar logo on the plane, looks amazing. Um, great paint on this. All the colors seem to be right, which is a really important thing to nail. Getting the colors um, narrowed down, that's really good. Uh, you can see the antennas on the bottom and the top, which is also good detail. But yeah, this this is really good so far. Now I'll show you guys the the tail of this plane. And here we have the tail of this plane. This is also amazing. The paint is great. Um, the tail I don't know. There's something off about it. I feel like I feel like there's a bit too much curve at the top. But I think that's what the real A350 is like. Um, I don't know if anyone in the comments can tell me something about that. Well then. I'm pretty sure it's right, because Aviation 400 do nail this mold. Uh, you can also see uh, the Wi-Fi hub, like the little box up there. Um, good detail as well with that. The registration right next to the last door on this plane. Um, the, the flag, Qatar's flag on there, which is really good. I love how Qatar's livery um, signifies their flag as well, with like that kind of purple wine color and the white and then I think adding that that what, what would this color be it's like a it's like a gray I don't know it's like a beige type gray something like that it's a really good livery Qatar have by far one of the best liveries out here um and the AP50-1000 suits it great this aircraft overall is really good the range is amazing I've heard this is what like I don't know if it's the AP50-1000 that has I think it's the second uh, second longest range, the plane with the second longest range in the world, I'm pretty sure. I might be incorrect, but it's got a massive amount of range. Um, but now I'm going to show the winglet of this aircraft, because I can see a bit of detail on that, which I want to show you guys. 
I don't know if you guys can see that very well. Um, I, I love the detail. I'll put some pictures of of just the winglet on one of the sides of this of the screen, so you guys can see it in more detail in case you can't see it very well here. But yeah, that's a great. That's some great detail on Qatar's on um, <laughs> not Qatar. Well, yeah, Qatar as well because it's their livery. But Aviation 400, good job on putting the detail on the winglets because that's one thing I like about the AT50. How on the winglets they do put the like the logo um, of the airline right there, which looks really really nice. Um, so yeah, now I'll show some some pictures of the engines and just what the engines look like. And here we are at the engines. Now I'll just say again, these engines are great. Like one thing that I'm also uh, a sucker for when it comes to these models is the blades and just the detail overall detail of the engine. Um, I will put a picture of what the blades look like on this plane. Um, it should be on the screen right now. But oh my god, the logo of Qatar on those engines looks really nice. And just the overall height from the ground, like, that that's really good, that's really really good. Um, they're not dipping down, which is something I see Phoenix do a lot when it comes to their mainly 747 and A350 engines. Which is a shame, but I'm glad Aviation 400 doesn't do that. Granted, this is my first one, but they're leaving a hell of a good impression on me. Um, yeah, I just overall love this plane. It's amazing. Um, and there it is. Both of the new models that I just unboxed. Honestly, they're both amazing. Great companies, and just overall, they're gonna look amazing on my, on my collection. Um, if I'd have to pick a favourite, I think I'd go for Aviation 400. Even though NG models are my favourite company, Aviation 400 knocked it out of the park with their A350. Um, I hope to get some more in the future, maybe a Singapore... Um, I heard they're doing a Fiji soon, or, or um, an Aeroflot, which I know those both come to LA. Um, well, the Aeroflot is planning on coming to Los Angeles in October, I believe. Yeah, October. It might be a bit delayed due to the whole current situation we're in right now, but hopefully it's not. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I always say this at the end. I'm going to try and upload more. I did get my birth. I did get um, five of my birthday models, so I hope to do um, a five model unboxing soon of those planes. There's some really good ones in there. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. And bye, guys. I'll see you in the next one.